Okay, in this video we are going to look at putting images into content and also to make those images responsive um, if you're going to view the website on a mobile phone and just to simulate the idea of a mobile phone you will see this image here has got some text above and to the side of it if I reduce the size of the browser to a similar size to a mobile phone you will see this image has actually reduced in size and the text has gone above and below it okay this is another image as well and as I go back up to the full desktop size then the image goes to the full size that I have given it and I'll show you how to do that now we don't necessarily need all images to be responsive um, they can be a fixed size and I will uh, discuss that with you uh, very shortly so I'm going to maximize that page go into the administration area of the Joomla website and I'm going to go to content and articles and the information I'm giving you in this video works also with custom modules anywhere you see a WYSIWYG editor you can use this information that I'm giving to you now so we're looking for the title of I'm going to use the most unique part of the title I'm going to use control copy or you use command uh, com uh, control C uh, on a PC and uh, command C on a Mac to copy that or you can right click and click on copy if that is easier for you and we're going to go to the search box I'm going to paste that in using control V or alternatively I can right click in the box and click on paste click on the search icon and here we have the article here bowling event at the knee box in Monaco so I'm going to open that f that file that article by clicking on the link okay and here we are so the first thing um, we need to talk about is that if you want to put an image into your text then you literally click anywhere in the text uh, beginning of the line is best where you want the image to appear like I would click over here and then we need to scroll up and you look for this symbol and if you hover over it you'll see that that comes up with the word image now there is another button that looks similar which is here and that's this image button and it has a little arrow that is not the one to use you need to use this one with a little plus sign and as I say hover over it if you see image you click on image and this is now looking on the server for content for images that you already have on the server so you can see here by hovering over the um, little icon you can see what that image is here and if you click on that image it will then select it as the image you're going to work with alternatively if the image is not either in a folder and you can create new folders down here at the bottom if you want to you know classify particular images you can create a new folder um, if it's not in a folder or not in the list below you can then go to browse and this will go to your hard drive and will open up your hard drive and of course you will recognize your own hard drive and what files are on there etc and this is where you can then select an image that you want to upload to the um, server and I'm just going to do one now just to show you here is a funny Trump one um, and you just click on open and now you click on this button that says send it to the server so if you want it in a folder and I'm going to now create a folder that says test 
click on OK and you'll see the folder has appeared here double click on it and if, you, if you've if you gone into the wrong folder you can either use this button to go up to the full list and you're just waiting remember we're working um, we're working actually on the server so sometimes things take a little moment to actually happen we'll go back to our test folder so that's one way of going back to your full list looking down here for test but when you click on here you'll see that you get all of your folders so if you want to just change folder it's as simple as just clicking on the folder name and now it has, it has opened up another folder there's no images on uh, in here let's look at this image this is this folder here here there are images from a tree planting day so we want to go back to test I'm going to now upload this file which we browsed for into the test folder and you can just check up the top here that it's in the right folder and if we hover over the icon on the left hand side you'll see you can check it's the right image so we click on the image and now we can see the width of the image and the height and quite often you'll find that this is too large for what you want you don't here we would reduce the size I don't recommend that you actually enlarge anything from here because you'll lose quality the other thing border is if you want to draw a border around you're gonna have a border around it which you don't want to do but this space H space is horizontal space and I recommend you put at least 20 pixels that means top and bottom uh, uh, sorry left and right and vertical space I'm going to put 20 again I'm going to reduce this to a very small size which is 100 and what it will do because this lock is closed it will automatically reduce it in a pro rata way it will keep the height and width in the right proportions and then at the bottom you will see a line so do you want it to the left of the text or the right of the text now if you're going to center this image um, manually which I will show you how to do in a second then you don't set it here and you will align it using um, the uh, text center button so I'm going to enter this into the um, article now and you'll see that now this was at the top so I did not actually give this a left or right alignment which um, so that means it will just appear here and I'm going to show you if you wanted that centered you will click on this button here and we will move that text down and you'll see that that has centered it completely and it's also centered the text underneath it because the text was along the side um, if you've done something that you don't like you have undo buttons so we'll undo I'm just going to scroll down so I can see what's happening there and then scroll up a little bit here and I'm going to undo again so now because we didn't put an alignment this is stuck here and the text is next to it if we right click on an image it selects it and you can go to image properties and now we're going to align this to the left of the text click left and click OK and you'll see where it is now obviously this is a little bit high but this is just a case of putting putting your uh, cursor next to the text and pressing enter and it will go down so we're going to save this and look and see how it looks on the article okay so again we have to refresh the article which is command R on a Mac and it's control sorry it's F5 on a PC we scroll down and there's our silly Trump picture and it's left aligned next to this text if you decide you want it on the other side you simply right click image properties change it to a right alignment and you see here you get a you get a preview click OK it's popped across to the right we save it once it's saved we wait for it to save and then we go and refresh again 
and you see our our Trumpian image is on the right hand side of the text now if I do the simulation of a mob mobile phone you'll see what happens it stays exactly the same size so imagine I want this to be I want this to actually stretch and shrink according to a ratio what we will do we will go to image properties again by right clicking now this will normally be locked so imagine you have now just um, uploaded this image as we showed you before what we will do now let's put in a percentage so let's put 50 percent okay so what we're saying is we want this image to be 50 percent of the page and this is going to be large but it's just to give you an example now normally when you put a percentage in you don't have anything in this box whatsoever okay now when you first upload an image and you save it normally this number will remain in the box and you'll get an image that looks like this it's a two-step process when you're making them proportional that you save it it will normally look like this then you right click on it go back to image properties and just remove that number delete it and when you save it this time it will be in proportion so you see now it's 50 percent of the page it's also proportional in terms of its uh, uh, height and width and when we go back now and I'll sc scroll up slightly and we're now oh we're in the article sorry I should have gone to the front of the website and refreshed let's make sure I've saved this I don't think I saved it so you're now seeing you know errors that you could make yourself quite easily so we're going to save that again once it saves we're going to scroll down make sure it looks how we want it to look okay so it's 50 percent of the page it's in proportion looks so fine we'll go back we'll refresh and don't worry this actually is an old article that is not on the website not showing the website so we're not messing up the website while we uh, we do the little example so you can see that it's in proportion it's half of the page and we will simulate uh, a mobile phone and as we drag it in I have to keep moving this around as we drag it in it now will retain its 50% size no matter how so whether you're on a tablet whether you're on a mobile phone you'll see the text will stay here half the page and the image will stay there half the page so we'll go back to full size another way you can do it and you want to if you want to ensure that it, the image can be seen clearly and not go over the size the sides of a mobile phone what we will do now is we will right click on here image properties so you'll see that this is now this lock has unlocked itself okay so we're going to clear the 50 percent and click on the lock okay and then we click refresh it gives us the original sizes so we've clicked the lock we've clicked refresh it gives us the original sizes of the image now this is 980 pixels wide which is much wider than your mobile phone which will mean that on the mobile phone and I think I should show you so we click OK because full size we click save you wouldn't want this one full size would you <laughs> wait for this to save at the top here this is saving and remember again you're working on a server so it's a remote server so you have to wait for it to do what it's doing so we'll double check here we've got a full size Trump I'm going to refresh the page and you see here now that the image is the full width of the page 980 pixels now if we simulate 
a mobile phone now this is actually <laughs> this has actually reduced itself let me double check the image properties so as this uh, lock is locked a good size if you want to fix the size is about 400 pixels and you'll see the height has changed here so if we click OK you'll see it's 400 pixels and that should now when we save it Okay, so we've given this a fixed size. We will simulate a mobile phone. Uh, oh, that's somebody trying to get hold of me. So now you will see that because we've fixed it to 400, okay, it fits nicely on a mobile phone um, within the text, and the text has actually dropped down below it. Now, if you decide you're going to make this image, image properties, we go back to the lock, we click it closed, we can refresh it, it gives us the original sizes, and we're going to click OK. It goes to the full size of the page, we click OK. I'm going to refresh but this is now going to be far too large for our needs but you may want an image that is the full width of the page and when we simulate the uh, mobile phone size see this is reduced and whether you go on the tablet size or whatever it will fill the whole page so we'll go back here now and we've already discussed if we do not want this on our website which for the life of me I couldn't imagine why you'd want it click on the image and press delete and rather remarkably we will save So that is now saved and we'll go back to the front of the website and he is no more so we've covered um, various ways to size and position a photo and just a quick additional example so here if you decide suddenly that you would prefer to have this on the right hand side of the text just align it to the right you'll see that it's now this 20 and 20 I'll just um, point this out is the space the white space between the text and the image because normally if the text touches the image it doesn't look right so the 20 it's got 20 at the top 20 at the bottom and on the left and the right to give it a little bit of space between the text and you see straight away that will save that you look at the article, you refresh the article and there you go you see it straight away over the other side so I hope that was helpful to you speak to you again soon